Um, thank you for the reminder. My do not disturb is switched on. And good morning to you all. I was wondering whether I would do the live stream today. There's a lot of um, sadness is the word. America is it's a very sad time over here in America. Good morning to you all. I'm going to try and lift your mood, but I don't know if I can promise that to you. It's a really strange world that America is, a strange country. I can't get my head around the way that police basically don't have to account for their actions and there's no independent committee that looks at complaints and people always need to be accountable for their actions and just because you're wearing a badge doesn't mean you should be ever exempt it's shocking it's really shocking you know so um i know it's we're talking about biscuits but i have to say it's really shocking what's been happening and it's not just now, the poor guy. It's it's disgusting. Um, I, I try not to bring politics and stuff into my live streams because I try and keep it more uplifting, but it's really difficult at this time, you know? that that had happened to it's like you can't imagine it if it was your son if it was your brother if it was your dad that that had happened to you know it's shocking feel afraid to say the wrong things you know because I never want to upset anyone oh, mommy. not that I think I'd ever say the wrong thing but <coughs> not every person is the same but I do think, this is my personal opinion, the only way that they're really going to change it, this is my personal opinion, is by, by having every police officer accountable. Um, disciplinary action and court cases and prosecutions if they do things that is investigated by an independent body that is deemed to be a crime there are things that happen in the course of duty i get that but what happens with that guy that was not in the course of duty and it was very obviously clear there's going to be a lot of stuff that's is going to be on different sides of was it right was it in the line of duty but that definitely was not and that every police officer should be accountable and every um person that's in authority in the police should also be there to lead and to implement their officers carrying out protection for public in like i always thought the police were there to protect you but 
different times here in America. That's not the case. It's, it's shocking. I can't. It reminds me of like, I was trying to like find a similar thing. Like in the 80s, the bobbies on the beads would just bash it up. Well, not that it happened to me because I was a kid. But they wanted a confession. They just get you in and bash it up. And you'd confess. And I guess it's similar. In a way that in a way it's similar in a way that they weren't accountable. And I'm sure that things must have happened. If you're beating someone up in the cell and just leaving them, I'm sure things happened that got brushed under the carpet. But I eventually in the UK I there's an, a, there is a body, and I don't know how independent it is, but it is it is set up, and it's not part of the police, and they do have to answer, you know? But there's nothing like that here in America, so they can just do what they want and get away with it. That's what the issue is. If you murder someone... You should be tried for murder. And if they made every police accountable instead of just go, just doing whatever they do, then there'd be a whole lot of different changes. But it needs a whole attitude change starting right at the top. <sighs> Radio Don, okay, thank you. See, I don't know anything about America. That's why we realized with the Rodney King situation, that's why LA established an independent panel to hold police accountable. Mostly it worked. Okay, so... So I have to ask then if if the situation that we're all grieving for right now happened in LA, would that be... Would it be totally different? I'm just asking because I don't know. You know, I'm... Never be afraid to speak your mind. Thanks, Don. I, I'm on YouTube, I am. A, I, I don't, not that my mind is going to be bad, but, it, you know, sometimes if you say the words wrong and if they come out wrong, but people are like, I know what you, what you said, but the words might be twisted or say something wrong. You know what it's like. And then someone writes that piece down and you're like, that's not what I said. <laughs> that's I, I guess that's why I always don't like to talk about topics that are very sensitive. And I hate talking about politics, but we all know that. This is not politics, this is sadness. Anyway. I was trying to lighthearten it with the biscuits. We missed National Biscuit Day. I want to know what your favourite biscuit or cookie is. I did. We didn't talk about it yet. So good morning to you all. I didn't even say good morning. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Phil. Um, good morning, Liam. Good morning, Richard. Good morning, Gareth. Good morning, Radio Dawn. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Jamal. Good morning, LJ Spears. Good morning, Lexi. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Sabine. Good morning, Cheetah. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning, V. Good morning, Engra. Good morning, Finley. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Lexi. Good morning, Sabine. Good morning, Phil. I don't ever say good. I don't even know who I said good morning to. Good morning, Gareth. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Ashley. Okay, I was just double checking. I don't think Mookats is with us. I have to say, I did last night um, pack a load of orders. Well, yesterday afternoon. So today I've got to go to the bank, I've got to go to the post office, I've got to go and pick up a new lab form from the doctor's office. I went to my doctor, um, one of my doctors, and he, he wanted to recheck something else in my blood. What am I just doing with that open for? Um, I was asking why my legs still feel bad, you know? It's a bit upset that my legs 
I, what I'm going to talk about today seems small in comparison. What are you doing? What are you doing? Put it back. No. Well, listen, the same things that you use for the car, you don't use what baby wipes for that. Remember what we said? What do you use baby wipes Ow. for? You just have to let me do it. What do you use baby wipes for? Clean yourself, not feed your child. Okay? Do you need to use your toilet? I use toilet. I want to pee them up. I want to pee them up. You want to what? You want the box with PJ Maxx? Oh, uh, PJ Maxx box. Okay, hold on there. Right, PJ Maxx box. He wants it. It's pretty heavy, actually. Did it take this out or what? I don't even know where I'm coming or going. It stops me in the tracks. I have to stop. Um, okay. So we are talking favourite biscuits, favourite cookies. Oh. Where's Owlette in the car? I don't know where Owlette in the car is. I'm, I'm over here doing a live stream. Owlette's in Maria's car? Yeah. Well, when Maria comes today, you can ask her if she can bring it in for you, okay? Um, okay, favourite biscuits or cookies? Most of us love them. Some of us could overindulge because of them. Imagine you have a big plate in front of you. What variety of biscuits, cookies do you have on it? When did you last eat some and what were they? Oh, if you had guests over, would you have your favourites or share them? Have you ever made your own? How did they turn out? What are my favourites? Oh, that's a question for you. How many can you name? Okay. Why did the biscuit cry? Because its mother had been a wafer for so long. Doo -doo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Join me for a friendly chinwag on my YouTube live. This chat will take the biscuit. There you go. Um, okay, Lou, good morning. Hands down, Oreos. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin says chocolate chip cookies, oatmeal raisin cookies, Oreo cookies are his favourite. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Richard, M&M cookies. Um, Sabine, favourite cookies are Mika's the butter biscuits with chocolate underneath, but you prefer to make the cookies yourself. Chocolate chip cookies and hazelnut yogurt cookies. Oh. Um, Liam, what's your stance on the Jaffa cake mistake? Biscuit, yeah or nay? Well, do you know what? Jaffa cakes, I don't like dark chocolate, but it's the only one that I do like. But you put them in the fridge and you just get out like one, two or three of the Jaffa cakes because you can't really eat too many of them. And they're like really nice to just um, have a bit of a sweet tooth, but they're good because you don't have tons of calories in. Um, Terry's favourite biscuits to be bourbon. Um, his favourite cookie is the oat fresh, oat fruit freshly made at Asda. Vinny cinnamon, oh, oh, that word, cinnamon muffins or blueberry muffins. Um, Radio Donna, several favourite cookies, oatmeal raisin, Oreos, golden and lemon. I do like the golden Oreos, they taste like custard creams. Um, Lou Fange, hands down his favourite are Oreos. Good morning, Hacking from Malaysia. Good morning, Manny. Engra likes chocolate chip cookies and Oreos. Lou likes sugar wafers. Gareth can't beat a jammy, jammy dodger. Phil go for chocolate hobnocks, chocolate digestives, ginger nuts and rich tea. I like all them except the ginger nuts, not into the ginger nuts. I did have some when I was pregnant to try and eat the ginger, but I still felt sick. Oh, Manny. Oh, Danish butter cookies. 
Oh yeah. yeah no, the candy. Jamal's fit. Well, it's got no candy in. Jamal's favorite cookie is oatmeal. Radio Don, there's a lot of oh, Oreo lovers. Challenge, okay. Don's asking you how many Oreo varieties can you name? I can't name. I can name Golden. Bobby's is Phil. Oh, I'm not. How do you know Bobby? Phil. Um, Liam says Phil Rich Teas are now known as One Dips. Why did they get small on them? Just dump them. Oh, there's candy as well. Um, v favorite is pecan sourdough with whipped cream. Oh wow. JFP, good morning. Lou, regular golden mint birthday cake peanut butter. Oh, I think that's the audios. Um, Kevin cookies. Um, oh Bobby, Bobby, Bobby can do the Jaffa cake challenge. You can stick eight Jaffa cakes in his gob all at once. You got a big gob there, um, Bobby. Gareth, if you go to Russia, try a Brian Anki, it's a honey biscuit, so nice. I must admit, oh, do you know what's just come to my mind then? Foxes. And it's a it's a plain biscuit. It's like butter crinkle. Are they called butter crinkles? Foxes butter crinkles. Oh, I love shortbreads, I love rich tea, I love malted milk biscuits. Gotta have a cup of tea with it. Um niece, niece biscuits are not nice, the niece. Oh, I love shortbread biscuit, Liam, yeah. Um, shortbread biscuits, oh. Butter cookies, those Danish butter cookies, oh, I like that. My favorite is the, uh, and of course we forget white chocolate macadamia. Fox's biscuits are really good, Phil. Do you remember at Christmas, your nan used to get the Fox's biscuit selection? And you go in there and they'd have like the party rings. You'd always want the party rings. And then the audible biscuits got left. It's pronounced niece. I'm having a niece biscuit. Bobby. They're really nice. They're really nice, these niece biscuits, aren't they? They're really nice. All right. He's not even eating his breakfast. He's going to get shoved in his chair in a minute. Liam, when we wanted to go past, used to break out the Viscounts. Oh, yeah. Biscuits. The Viscount ones. Finley likes a Kit Kat. Oh, I had a white chocolate Kit Kat once. Oh. Oh, these are dodgy bananas again. A part of my hand. Disgusting. White chocolate sounds delicious. Um, Lexi's favorite cookie would be a tie between peanut butter, oatmeal, and white chocolate. I love white chocolate. Bananas are actually herbs. There you go. Too much shogginess for one day for me, this. Bobby was in Clamberis. Clamberis? You have to say it right. Oh, Bobby went to Clamberis. And there was a big group of American kids. And the adults were with them, asked me to recommend which cookies you should buy. I told them, get digestives and custard creams. <laughs> Phil will be pissing his pants right now. Clamberis. Mommy, it's bouncing everywhere. It's bouncing everywhere, I'll be careful. Go on a day trip with the um, school. Can't go wrong with digestives and custard creams. Prefer rich tea than digestives. Or if it's digestive. Oh, you got two balls, yeah. Language, I don't know, yeah. 
Sorry, I stand um, corrected with my language there. I can't say one swear word in Welsh. Well, it's not actually a swear word. It's not a swear word, it's disrespectful. It's, it's not, it's just a bit cheeky. Kaida Gerg. You say that to you, Bobby, when you go to Wales. Say Kaida Gerg. I can't say the Criso Cumrayo. Criso Cumri. Oh, God. Oh, no, he's on it. Bobby shared a flat in Ibiza with, with a lad from Pasadena. They tried. They tried. Oh, oh. What did you just hit? My head. Oh, be careful. Okay. Ozzy, be careful with that ball. Right. Don't be throwing it against things. I can hear it bashing. Okay. Okay, thank you. I need you to stop that, please. It's bashing against things. Uh, prospective Stevie Jig and Ozzy. Robin. It's Kit Kat, the cookie old candy. Ozzy, stop! Oswald. He's hiding something behind his back. What have you got some? Oh, these are yours. Because as I opened the bag, well, I'm not going to eat two bananas for my lunch. Well, as I opened the bag, oh, they just fell off like that. Hey, what about this PGMS? Do you want them in the fridge? Yeah, I guess. I can put PGMS in. No, I'll put it in the fridge. Put your trolls away. Okay. Good job. He's got bananas here. I give him one. Oh. Just got Oswald. His name's Oswald. Bobby says there was a big court case about whether Jaffa cakes were cakes or biscuits because they are treated differently for tax. The judge concluded biscuits go soft when stale and cakes go hard. Very good. Is that for real or are you just taking the pee there, Bobby? Nikki. Hi, if you ask Alexa, what's Boris Johnson's carrot 100 times in Welsh? I'm not hungry. What? It's true, it's a big cold case. Oh, wow. Huh? Nikki, you'll have to write that again. Nikki says that's real, cake isn't taxed. Right, what's going on? Liam says he remembers. I bet you that made news. Jaffa cakes. So did they end up being classed as cakes or biscuits? I didn't quite catch it. Echo, add flaxseed to my shopping list. They ended up being biscuits. Oh, Alan got the message about his shirt. Nice one, Alan. I um, packaged them all up yesterday. You want biscuits?
But you've got cereal. It was bigger than Brexit, that court case, was it? We're talking about the court case. Cakes. Was it cakes or biscuits? They ended up being cakes or biscuits. Text that back to myself right now, Mommy, Nikki. I cake. Cake. No cake. Case was in nineteen ninety one for VAT reasons. Seashan double chocolate chip cookie likes. Right. So the Jaffa cakes ended up being cakes. Oh, they did the advert then, didn't they? After that, is that what I'm thinking? Then they did. They push them as cakes on him. Oh, I'm thinking of Mr. Kipling. Exceedingly good cakes. Mr. Kipling didn't make Jaffa cakes, did he? Right, so some people ordered shirts. Um, Alan ordered a t-shirt from me. Um, Moo Cats ordered a t-shirt from me. Someone else that's on here ordered a t-shirt from me, but they didn't announce it on here, so I'm going to let them announce it themselves if they want to, because I don't think it's right. Moo Cat's already said publicly that she ordered the t-shirt the other day. I'm sure she did, I hope I just didn't say that. Mac VT's is Jaffa Cakes, thanks, Gareth. Engra, thank you, Engra. I didn't want to say it, because I thought it might be a bit rude. Engra has ordered two t-shirts, I've signed one of them for you. Engra, in your other name, I didn't write anger on it because that's not that what you called yourself. Um, Alan ordered a white t-shirt, I signed that. Moo Cats ordered a white t-shirt, I signed that to Moo Cats as well. Mommy, stop that! Hello, Noisy. Hello, my iPad. Can you eat some bananas? Oh, okay, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Open your mouth and eat your banana. Good job. Right. I'm going to get you the ice <laughs> Shoved it in his face. Mm -hmm. Not realising. Right, don't forget, we are on a live stream, so you have to be quiet. Okay. Okay. It's baby. Oh. No, oh, baby. The old baby tally cubbies. The old baby. Open. Good job. You might eat a banana. Do you want some raspberries, Ozzy? I mean, oh, I said it wrong. Ozzy, do you want strawberries? Ozzy, do you want strawberries, yes or no? Yes or no? Do you want strawberries, yes or no? I want strawberries. Yes, okay. Right, let me get a strawberry out so let me all cut one off. Should have asked him before when he had them out, shouldn't I? Got these little bananas. JF totally wanna order a shirt. 
Um, the link is, well, the, the, I've got pins and I've got shirts and I've got more stuff as well. But if you go um, in every live stream, there is a link to, which, it, and today is no exception. It says, do you, have you got my pin? If you click on there, have you got my pin? Um, and on there, you'll be able to click and see the shirts as well. Or you can go somewhere else. Um, I'll say it to you, yeah, it's quite easy. Tanya Tate store. And that .com at the end and it'll divert you somewhere. I can't put that link in here because I can say it to you, but I can't write it because that has got stuff in that. If you want to open it, make sure you're not around people. But if you want something where you can just go and open it in front of everyone, um, tanyatate.storemby.com. Right, here's your strawberries. Okay. Well, mommy, this is my baby's. I've got no hold it. Okay, hold it then. Right, you've got banana and a strawberry. Good job. <laughs> I um I I signed them um as a special deal the other day for them um but to get it signed it's like extra um but if you do order it today JFP I'm right in the message i'll take a look and maybe um i'll include that i the other day i said i i guess people um if they see it on here and they do it on a different day then it's not i'm not going to give you it sign for free i guess because you've said it and you seem like you're so keen and if you order it within the next 24 hours and write down that you're JFP85 from YouTube in the message. Because I, I mean, I did sign it for um, Moo Cats and Alan and Engra. But they ordered that same day that it got mentioned. And I said, if you order it today, I'd sign it for free. But I guess if someone's watching this live stream and then they're like, I'll be like, okay, it's extra charge. Just because you seem like you're genuine about it. You gotta order today. If you order it tomorrow, you gotta pay for the sign in JFP. <laughs> and it's only the second time I've Mommy, mentioned it, so I'll know if someone orders it again. like in a month and they ask for it, I'll be like, oh, you gotta pay extra for that, mate. V has one in black. You do V, she's gonna order a white one. Nice V, yay. If you want it signed and you want, and you're gonna order it today, if you want it signed, some people don't want it signed, but if you did, special offer only because I'm mentioning it today. Um, um, and because you can, because you're sitting here taking the time to come in and talk to me and, you know, brighten my morning up as well. Um, so, V and JFP, if you do order the white one today and you do want it signed, it's got to be today. Only valid on the day of the live stream that mentioned the offer to you. Um, you can get it done. But just put a message in with it because I won't know unless you write the message. Lexi says they're very comfortable. Thank you, Lexi. They are. Daniel, good morning. Good morning, Manuel. Right, well, I'm going to finish my breakfast off over here, everyone. Um, not having any cookies today. Well, this morning. 
maybe a change a bit later on. V says, will do. Nice one. Thank you, V. Um, good morning, Madison. Madison, where have you been? Nice to see you back. Um, C Shan says, good afternoon from the UK. Good afternoon back. Liam, just want to say thank you for brightening all our days. Thank you. And I wish we could all have... Oh, sugar, Ozzy, you've got the volume on. I told you no volume. <sighs> Not funny, because I'm doing a live stream, so you can't have it on. You'll get me taken off YouTube. Yes. Welcome. <sighs> it was fast, wasn't it? How many seconds did he have it on for? Nikki was well onto that. Ozzy allowed that volume on. Good job. I was reading the messages, Nikki. I think said, poor Ozzy. He just sticks the volume on. I'm, I'm like, Ozzy, when I have the live stream on, remember, no volume on the iPad, okay? You can have it on now. DTUK, come in just as I'm saying goodbye. But I'm glad you made it just right to the end. Um, can you say bye? Bye. Bye. Oh, he's gone on the filters. He's gone say bye. Work, Papa. Papa's going to, yeah. Say bye. Bye.